Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. This is Black Horse Sign of Black In Again. Um, please hit that share button because that's what benefits other people and you know someone that can benefit from it. Give that priority over the like and the subscribe buttons. Those are the ones that help me. But the message is more important than the messenger. You saw the title, so you have an idea what this message is about, but you don't know the details yet. I'll get straight to it, like I usually do. There are two kinds of Eidos women that have not deceived and disrespected men on GP in general. Uh, now, some would say, well, they're the ones that disrespect black men only, but not white men, and that's another topic, another recording. But right now I'm talking about the ones that, I'm talking about black men. There are two kinds of Eidos women that have not just gone around insulting black men. Um, one is the truly innocent one. Either she's good looking enough to have options and she's not using that to just disrespect men, or she's not sure if she is or not, she may or may not be, but she would not if she was good looking enough. Assalamu alaikum. Kemunachin. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Sorry about that. Every time I record, I get interrupted. I see someone I know. So I've given up hope of just not being interrupted when I record. So uh, the other one is not truly innocent because she either is not good looking enough to do this or she doesn't know that she is. And that's all that stops her. I'm not talking to them. They're the same at heart as the ones who have options and deceive and disrespect men. And by deceive, I mean lying to men about what women want in general, not just about themselves, but even in general. That being said, my message to them uh, is to the truly innocent. When I say, uh, when I title this a word for the innocent Edo sisters, I, the innocent Western sisters, really. That was for those who are truly innocent that when they've got options, don't feel like that means they need to go and deceive and disrespect these men. Um, you are not the reason that there is a red pill community, a red pill body of knowledge. Um, you're not the reason for MGTOW, Ibmore, or CISBIM. You still are going to be treated like this sometimes uh, because you can't read men's minds and men are even worse at reading your minds as women than you will ever be at reading men's minds. In other words, we men, we're simple, you're complicated, you may not agree, but that's all it is. And so since we... Um, as you cannot read our minds, we definitely cannot read yours. There's nothing we can do to read your minds. We just can't do it. And so there are going to be a lot of men because this is going to spread. There's nothing I can do to change that. There's nothing you can do to change it, really. You're innocent. You're not the ones doing this. You don't control what other women do. Okay. So there's nothing you can do to stop other women from acting this way. And there's nothing I can do to stop men from finding out about this. And the reason I know this is because before I was going to tell my son about the existence of this, he started to break it down for me. So I want you to understand that nothing can be done to stop the spread of this. The ladies ain't going to change. The ones that are guilty ain't going to change. And the knowledge is going to spread. They're going to drive more men into this uh, when they find this alternative. And it's going to take off and spread. It's not your fault, but you must understand that as it spreads, there are going to be new brothers that come into this knowledge and they don't know how you are. And as they come into this knowledge, some of them are going to be upset with you, not, be, not even though you're innocent. It's not that they don't care whether or not you're innocent. It's going to be simply that they don't know that you're innocent. You will be facing this. I wish you didn't have to because I don't want anybody to ever pay for something someone else did just because i'm hard on women doesn't mean that i want women to always have to go and pay for something that somebody else did 
I'm not that cruel and heartless and mean. But I understand that this will happen sometimes. Probably not all the time, but this I know that this is going to happen sometimes. And I wanted to let you know that this is coming. It's on its way. It has nothing to do with hatred. I don't want it for you. And that's why I'm letting you know that it may be there. And the best thing to do is when you come across some guys like this, is to simply say, you know what? That does exist. And it's probably more common than either you or I would think it is. I'm not one of them, but I understand that you can't look at me and tell that, just like I can't look at you and tell how you are. Best of luck, um, and I, I, I wish you the best of luck in avoiding them in the future. Um, that would be the best thing you, you would be able to tell them, really, that would be the best reaction you could give. Unfortunately, you're suffering for what the guilty have done, to a certain extent. I just didn't want that to have to be the case. And I know this is uh, hard to believe hearing this come from me. Um, if you feel a bit skeptical, I can understand to a certain extent. Because yes, I've been very hard on a lot of women, especially Western women, white or black, lately. Uh, but at least try this maybe the first time you come across a guy that's recently been red-pilled. And... Uh, Speaking of interruptions, it's about to happen again. Hold on, let me hit the pause button. It's, it's, it's never going to stop. Um, okay, yeah, had to pause it again. It, it's never going to stop. I, I give up even trying. There's no place I can go, actually. This town's not that big. It's got stuff, but there ain't many places to hide. So anyway, um, you do give it a shot and be ready for this when it happens, sisters. I also feel bad uh, for you, believe it or not, and I would say that this is what a lot of uh, innocent men have also had to go through in the beginning. Um, now, sisters, understand this. If you are not causing this stuff and you get a hold of a new red pill guy and he's in red pill rage and he's taking it out on you, which can happen, um, I'm still on your side with regard to that. I know the phenomena exist. I don't know how common it is, but I know it exists. One of them is related to me. A lady cousin of mine had this happen to her. Her husband got a hold of some red pill knowledge and he started calling her all kinds of gold digging bees and she wasn't even like that. He had no gold to dig. Uh, but I guess the pressures of marriage got to him even without uh, her being this way. Whatever the case was, he ruined that and I saw the screenshots to prove it. But do you understand, ladies, that this is a scenario in which the innocent on both sides of the uh, and the innocence of both genders will be suffering for what the guilty have done and I wish I could avoid it but since I can I can at least just let you know that from a man's standpoint what I told you to say to them is going to be one of the better ways to handle it um, and and understand that it's a product of the environment just like if you are very distrustful of men it's just the same reason it's just a product of the environment I hope that one day this will no longer be true. In the meantime, until that day, I hope that this has been a benefit. Salam alaikum.